Creating marketing videos like this Lemonade commercial I created in Canva may have just become even easier with Canva's new Beat Sync feature. So what is the new Beat Sync feature and how do you use it? Stay tuned because you're about to find out. Okay, so what is the new Beat Sync feature in Canva? Well, let's start by looking at how I had to tackle this project in the past and then we'll see how the Beat Sync feature makes it easier now. Okay, so here is that video project within Canva. So I can grab my playhead through here and I can scrub through the different slides that I have that are part of this project that make up this video. Uh, and then I can also come back to the beginning here and the blue line at the bottom, that represents my audio track. And when you have an audio track like this in Canva, if you click on it, uh, it's going to expand the audio track. And actually, if you double click on it, you can get into it to there and then you could slide and adjust the portion of the music that you're actually hearing. I'm going to leave that alone because I want to keep it as we had it set. Uh, but so with the audio track here, the way I was able to do this and sync this up before was I had to manually look at the wave file here and using that uh, visual cue and then my ears, I just sort of timed it out and made adjustments, dragging these, you know, forward and back to try to get everything to sync together here. Uh, and it worked. And if we play it now, we'll see that, uh, yes, I do a pretty good job of having the fly transition sort of match up to the beat of the music, but it's not perfect and it was a tedious process. So let's see how this all now gets a little bit easier with the new beat sync feature inside of Canva. So now with the auto track selected, something that we did not have before in Canva is now this beat sync option. So if I click on this beat sync option, we have two options underneath there. We have display beat markers, and then we also have the sync now option. So if I just turn on display beat markers, let me turn it off and on and watch the blue timeline here as I turn it back on, you'll see that now suddenly we're getting these white dots that sort of indicate where the beat of the music is. So they're calling this the beat markers. Now, something I did before when I was really trying to make precise edits in here in terms of my timing is if you click over here, you can go between zooming in on your page and you can go between zooming in on your timeline. So when you're working on a timeline like this, sometimes you're gonna to wanna to click on this uh, so that you can then zoom on your timeline. And so now when I zoom in, it's zooming in on my timeline just because that makes it so you can come in here and make more precise edits. And as we do this, we can see these beat markers uh, even more uh, closely than we did before. Okay, so, so now we have these beat markers and so they are helpful because they give a visual cue. So rather than me just relying on my ear and just looking at the waveform here, now I have these dots that sort of indicate the boom, the beat of the music. Now, I already did sort of lining up with this. So let's look at this sync now feature. But before I do, let's do this with a different audio track. Just since I already have this one synced up sort of by manually doing the work, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and delete this audio track. And I'm just gonna come here under audio and let's add a new audio uh, file here. So I'm gonna use this one right here. I think it will last. So again, when you're clicking on a new audio file to add it to your project, it's gonna come in wherever your playhead is. So if I clicked it now, it would come in here at the 9.7 second mark. I want it at the beginning. So I'm gonna drag it back to the beginning and now I'm gonna click on this new audio track and it's gonna bring it in here uh, to my uh, file. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and play just so we can hear some of it for a second. Okay, so, so just seeing that right now, uh, we could tell that the animations weren't syncing up in the best way with the audio. And we can see that just by looking at some of these beat markers here. Like this beat happens right in the middle of this sort of slide. Uh, this one here is sort of at the beginning, but not quite. These two here, they don't match up perfectly. So again, I can come back here and now we're gonna see what happens when we come in here and we go under beat sync and we do this sync now option, okay? So now watch these beat markers down here. This one especially, see how this one doesn't line up at all? Watch what happens with one click when I come up here now and I hit the sync now button. Suddenly some adjustments are made here and look now how the beats are really lining up much better with those transition points. And so let's go ahead and hit play now. And 
so you can see with one click, suddenly we have audio and video that are working much better together. Now, the one thing I'll say about this, like all the in, you know, automated tools within Canva, it's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be this magic thing that just creates something amazing from nothing, okay? For example, I have some pretty quick cuts uh, within these different slides here where it's going from one thing to the next. Really, the pace of the music with that first uh, music that plays, that first track, is a little bit better than this track, I think. This track maybe is a little slower tempo, so maybe it doesn't work quite as well. However, using this beat sync, we certainly get better results than when we just bring it in and do nothing, okay? So use this beat sync option in here and use this display beat markers just as more tools in your arsenal to get better and better results, okay? Because you can use this sync now button when you're creating Instagram stories or whatever, anything where you're taking some video, some different clips, you're cutting them together, and then you wanna have transitions that sort of fall on the beat of the music, both of these are gonna help that happen. And with one click here, you can end up with an asset that's gonna be way better than something that where you don't use this at all. But is it gonna be perfect? No. And there are gonna be times where you want something to play for three seconds, and if you use Sync Now, that's gonna throw it off, okay? So you still may have to get in there and do some manual adjustments, okay? So don't be afraid to do manual adjustments, but then use this Sync Now option. And one thing to keep in mind, if I come in here and hit this uh, sync now option. If I have something like, like 10 seconds, it's not gonna magically just make it two seconds. It's gonna make subtle adjustments. Just like if I have something that's two seconds, it's not gonna suddenly make it 10 seconds. It's gonna make subtle adjustments. So you might have to come here on your own and make some different adjustments with your tracks here and then try this sync now a couple different times. Okay, because it's gonna make subtle adjustments. So if you want something to be a big adjustment, it's not automatically gonna do that for you, but it's gonna make subtle adjustments over you know, what you have as your initial timing. Okay, but again, a cool tool, check it out. That's the new Beat Sync feature inside of Canva when working with audio. Hey, this is Greg. Thanks so much for checking out this video. You can give it a like below if you found it helpful and make sure you subscribe to this channel and set up notifications if you want to stay up on all the latest information all about Canva. Thanks again and have an awesome day.